Hi Leo, welcome to my channel Leo. I hope you are doing well Leo. I hope you are fine and safe and doing good Leo. This reading for today, it is a collective tarot reading session for you. Okay. This reading for today, this is a collective reading for the Leo sign. Let us see what is the guided message that is meant for you to know and ready for you to know. This is your daily checked in. In today's reading, Leo, we will look into love, career, life, uh, money, and general inspirationship. Okay, what's coming towards the Leo sign? This is your next 24 hours reading. What can I get for the Leo sign, please? I hope you're doing well. What's coming towards the Leo sign? Thank you guys for your support. You have the Page of Wands. You have the Judgment card, Leo. Mm. You have the Nine of Wands in here. Let me just check the camera. Okay. Page of Wands, Judgment card, the Nine of Wands. You've got the Magician card in here. The Three of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles in here. The Six of Cups. Okay, they want me to keep it in reverse. Okay. The Queen of Pentacles. Okay. And you have the Two of Swords. And so we start your reading. Um, well, first of all, the Page of Wands, the Judgment card. There's a delay. Okay. Um, I feel like with the page of wands, the judgment card, this is a de delay response. Like, um, you know, the page of wands, delay response. Oh, from the lover's card. Look at that. Mm. The page of wands. I feel like this person, it has already exhausted you because you're a nine of wands. I get the feeling that there is a romantic interest. I get the feeling that this romantic interest, Leo, they're coming in. Instead of saying sorry, they're going to make up some sort of story. Instead of saying sorry, they're going to make up some sort of story to connect with you. But I feel like this is just a preliminary vibe. Okay, this is a, this is a preliminary vibe, Leo, where it's like, they're scared to be vulnerable and say sorry. So they're going to pretend and invent some sort of some sort of action or some sort of, I don't know, this person is going to invent story to connect with you. But if you let them in, they will eventually say, I'm sorry, I miss you and be vulnerable. Okay. Um, I get the feeling that this person is someone that you're going to meet them in the mall. You, it's possible that your first meeting was in the mall or they're going to ask they're going to ask you out and it's going to be in the mall okay the lover's card but you're going to meet up this person if not soon this year 2024 it won't end without this person meeting you up okay yeah look at that three of cups and if you have already you know if you've been watching tarot reading by now you know that the three of cups this is socializing this is dating and getting to know this is you know eating to the restaurant coffee shop so i get the feeling that because you're a nine of wands so they're coming in late and you're exhausted i get the feeling of you again with the nine of wands i get the feeling that oh you again not again and then I feel like you're not going to you're not going to react right away with the 9 of wands. It could be it's possible that they're going to connect with you and you're busy. You won't be able to engage, respond. Or, or or for some of you you again, it might take you some time to respond to reply because this is the connecting energy. Um if that's the case, they will follow up cuz I'm really getting like in the immediate future. It could go through a bit of you know, like a push and a pull, but they will manage to see you. Like this person will manage to convince you because it's a soulmate and a three of cups. Um, Take your time, 
whoever this person is, they're coming in as a soulmate. So it looks like they're very patient in terms of waiting. Okay. Could be someone younger. This could be foreign too. I get the feeling that this person also. They're very talkative. I get the feeling that the way they're texting you or talking to you, they're very talkative and at the same time, at the same time, you can pick up that, okay, you're very talkative because you're nervous. Like you could pick up that they're trying hard because they're nervous. Okay. There's more to come. The nine of wands. Now, what else is coming towards you? You've got the magician card, the six of cups in reverse. Now, this one, they've asked me to keep this in reverse. What I'm getting at with the Magician card, Leo, is that it looks like for some of you, um, there's some sort of daily, you know, Magician card, this is inspiration. The Magician card, this is magical. This is drama. This is in inspiration. This is intensity. This is magic. However, you're not connecting to your inner Magician. So for some of you, for some of you guys, you're not motivated to be creative, create, see. There's a part of you that there's something off when it comes to your creativity, inspiration. It looks like you might need to find a muse. Like you need, you kind of need to find a new inspiration. You kind of need to move. Or if you're usually working at home, maybe you might want to move into a different place to find your inner muse. For some of you... You could be working, 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 and you haven't had the proper vacation. So your inner psychic, your inner muse is switched off. But this can be fixed. If you make an effort to find a muse, if you will change an outlet. For some of you, I kind of pick up that, you know, you might want to, I don't know, you might want to draw, write your thoughts. For some of you, there's something about music that will inspire you again. There's a healing music, inspirational music. I'm kind of getting like maybe you, you just need some roar or, you know, you just need some, like a release of a shake up of something like you. I'm kind of picking up, you know, queen of pentacles in here. There's a, there's a queen and a king. So I'm getting like, maybe you kind of need to shake up some stuff in your life, you know, something to do with something noisy and crazy that it will shake you up reverberate your energy and then you're back to your usual creative hardworking, and regal i feel like concert something connected to nature something that will shake you up and wake you up and it will you know revert you back to your grind to your hustle to your inspiration something inspiring you kind of need to be loud again two of swords i don't know maybe you haven't taken photo for some of you. You haven't visited the nicest restaurant. You haven't pampered yourself. But your inner muse is... Well, first of all, I want you to know that undisputedly, your roar, your light is like a thunderbolt. You just need to wake it up, Leo, okay? There's something in here. You kind of need to... You need to be inspiration. You need to find an inspiration again. Whether it could be... A travel, a concert, something noisy, rare, something like that. Or you kind of need to channel your inner stylish, you know, your ego. The more you're surrounded by good vibe, crazy good vibe, the more you're productive. So, and for some of you, you're simply tired, you know, with the two of swords. Lack of sleep for some of you or something... Yeah, for some of you, you're not really the moon card. Look at that. For some of you, you're not really having a good sleep or you're sleeping, but it's not a deep sleep. So prioritize your prioritize, prioritize your inner muse. It's wanting to rest in order for it to glow again. Okay, look into that. There's something about find inspiration, find a rhythm. Um a synchronized way of you know doing things like not too boring not too lazy for some of you guys okay let's see yeah page of swords the truth is you're not 
With the Page of Swords, the reality is, like maybe you kind of need to look into your real, like you might need one of the things that you're being advised is you might want to go into like a, a reality check look at your bank account look at your emails look at your productivity it's if it's low it means something needs to change or if you're not getting what you want in terms of fame money in terms of productivity the reality is you're not moving in the pace that you want you're not too inspired or you're too tired you kind of need to take a break and then move remember we there's i would say less than it's probably like two months and two weeks before 2024 ends. You want to win. You want to be able to bank. You, know, you want to be able to feel successful by the end of 2024. You still have time. So have a reality check. Look, in, look into your finances. Look into your target. Look into your daily productivity. Um, something needs to improve, not to change. You just need a little bit of a shake up in here leo okay so find your inspiration wake up your inner muse the universe is waiting for you and this is what i have for you guys you might just need a haircut you know a change of outlook connected to your look a change of mindset connected to your life style leo look into that um, this is what I have for you, Leo. Thank you so much for connecting with me. This is your daily check in your next 24 hours reading. If you're vibing, please do click the bell. Click subscribe. I will see you soon again, guys. You have a great day. Bye, Leo.